Okay, I'm drilling the holes now and not without some difficulty, so I'll just share the challenges with you and I'm sure someone smarter than me will figure out. Um, first and foremost, what I did was, I, I showed you before, I marked the corners, I identified the bounding box of where the hole was going to be, and you can see came in really close. There's that one support structure right in through there. There you go. All right. Did the box through 45 degree angle so I knew where my radius for my hole saw would be. Drilled pilot holes. There were four pilot holes. And now I've been using a Greenlee hole saw so I would get the radius cuts that I wanted on the inside. This one scored and it was seizing so I, I was going to come back and chase it. I was drilling this one and a problem I have periodically is that the pilot bit and the hole saw snagged and it broke off. And it really, really bugs me because, you know, you want to keep some of those around. So I'm stopped dead. I'm done the water for the evening. Um, looking at it from underneath, you can see the light coming through. Four hole. There's the holes. Yeah, like way cool. There's the holes. And if I look down inside, if this will let me, there you go. Hey, pretty cool, huh? Now there's a hole. There's a hole. And look at that. There's that compression release that I've never seen before today. <laughs> anyway, so work continues. I'm not, I'm not stopped. I'm just stalled at the moment. And I hope this all helps you out. Again, look out for those bits snagging. Of course, you don't have to do a pretty radius. You could just cut to the corners. But hey, I'm trying to make it pretty. I may change my mind. See ya. Bye-bye.